Hey guys, it's Lucy and I am doing a bit of an update because <sighs> I'm injured. So if you have been before, come on in, take a seat, you know what to do. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Lucy. I have been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. Back then, I weighed 230 pounds, I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds, and I was desperate to find someone who had been in that position and turned their life around and became a marathoner. Now, unfortunately, I could only find inspirational and motivational people who were not relatable to me and my situation. I wanted to see someone else who'd been through the struggle that I was going through and got to the other side. I just needed to see that someone else had done it. Well, I got there. I became a marathoner. I've lost a lot of weight. I've run a lot of miles. So I've decided to talk about all these struggles from a first-hand basis. And hopefully my channel finds the people that it needs. So if that is you, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Come along. There's plenty of run with me's if you want to come on a run. But anyway, let's get you updated. I was following my 50k training plan and it was going phenomenal. <laughs> if you follow me on my Instagram, you would see I post every single run I do on the day that I do it. I was keeping everyone updated. I was absolutely loving it. It was going perfectly. And I think I've done a bit too much too soon. The training plan I've got is amazing and I've seen results, but I'm now injured. What happened was it was a Sunday and I was supposed to be doing a 10 mile run. Now, I had a bit of a niggle in my leg and I took my daughter to her first ever park run. And when I got in and out the car, I had pain in my leg that I've had before. So I decided not to run on that day. Now, the problem with that is I feel really guilty that I haven't run. I felt bad and I decided to talk myself into trying to run on the Monday. Now, here's the post. As you can see, it didn't really go very well. <laughs> I actually called it a disaster on my Instagram. I decided that I'm not fully, fully injured to the point where I can't run at all. There's like levels of injured and I've decided I'm not at my worst. I think I've caught it at a good time. I decided to park the training plan and get on the road to recovery. So I'm back in a good position. Yeah, here's me on uh, my first walk. <laughs> It's Friday and I am on a walk <laughs> on a day that I'm supposed to be doing intervals. Yeah, my leg, my poor, poor leg. I remember this pain that I had that I've got in my leg now and I had it last year, but in my other leg. Now, I can't remember the video that I talked about it in, but I just started to get back into running and I vlogged it. <laughs> if I can find the video, I will put it up in the corner. But anyway, I remember back then I had to take a lot of time off from running and the only thing that fixed it was when I came back from Florida and I did a Disney Universal holiday and I walked over 40,000 steps every single day for two weeks. <laughs> when I came home from that holiday I was practically cured like not practically I was completely cured. Now I don't know if it was because I had a long rest and then I went into a lot of walking for two weeks and that's what fixed it but I'm gonna skip the long rest because I just haven't got time to do that with my race coming up and I'm gonna go ahead and do walks instead of runs on the days I'm planned to run from my training plan you know <laughs> today would have been six miles of intervals actually here in this location where I am this is where I would do my intervals I'm gonna walk it I might not necessarily walk six miles because it just takes so long <laughs> especially as a runner and you can run when you get to the point where you can run six miles when you eventually walk it it feels like forever <laughs> and i'm walking on paths where i run and these paths feel extra long you know <laughs> it's nice actually to be out and walking it is quite nice and my leg now doesn't feel too bad it feels all right it's not hurting when i keep mobile when i keep moving it feels absolutely fine and the fact that I've been through this before and I got past it and through to the other side encourages me to know that I will get over this. I will get back to my regular runs. But it's uh, not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So if you get to a point where you've got a bit of a niggle, you will get past it. You don't need to quit. This isn't the end of the road for you. This is normal. And I've been doing this now for around three years and this is definitely not my first injury <laughs> that is for sure we always get over it always get past it and anytime i've lost fitness i've got it back very quickly 
So if you are worried that you're going to lose fitness, if you're having to have a couple months off, because I had a few months off last time. And when I got back into it, I did lose fitness. I was slower. It was harder. But it honestly didn't take me long. I'm probably in one of the strongest positions I've been on my running journey. I mean, not currently now I'm injured, but before I got injured. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy this walk. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to go. How far have, have I gone? Let's have a look. So I've actually nearly done an hour. Friday walks instead of Friday intervals. <laughs> In the meantime, I've been doing all of my walks. I've actually incorporated a lot of walking in sort of the activities that I've been doing. For example, we've decided to head to the zoo on a day I was supposed to be running and I knew that I was going to go for a walk. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the steps in and we're going to take my dog to the zoo. We're going to have fun. And obviously I wanted to recreate that walking in Disney's kind of thing. I know there was not a chance I was going to match those steps or any get anywhere near the level of steps that i would get at a disney or universal park but i wanted to just you know relax not worry it's an active rest day during a time that i'm injured so we're walking around the zoo loving it i realized i definitely didn't rack up as many steps as i thought i was going to so i was a little bit disappointed with that when i checked my watch when i got back <laughs> but you know what it's fine we're on the road to recovery <laughs> now yesterday i took my daughter to her second park run and she actually asked to run it with me i obviously was more than happy to take her and the kids run is two kilometers i thought it'd be a really good chance for me to test my leg i wouldn't be running fast and i wouldn't be running far and my daughter really wanted to run with me so how can i say no how anyway we did it she smashed it did absolutely amazing she ran the whole thing my leg was great i didn't feel tired and yeah i think i just need a few more walks and then i'm going to test my leg so i'm going to take you along with me on the test okay so it's a couple of days later i work from home and um yeah i'm just sat at my desk at the moment doing a bit of work so i thought i'd update you i thought my leg was getting better and it wasn't hurting but today after walking my daughter to school i've got a bit of a pain in my leg let me show you where it is because i realized earlier i didn't actually show you where it was let me show you it's kind of like diagonal so it like starts from the middle and then it kind of works its way up that's that's where it is the thing is, when I say pain, I don't mean, you know, excruciating pain. It's more of like, um, it's a little bit worse than like a throb. Does that make sense? That makes sense. <laughs> but uh, I am going to test it. I'm going to do a couple more days of resting and I'm going to go for a test run. Hopefully, in the next clip, I'm going to be running and I won't be in pain. And look at that. I'm out running. <laughs> Nearly a mile done. Haven't needed to stop. My leg feels fine. No pain. I just feel really out of breath and like I haven't run in a couple of weeks, which is true. Good start. During the run, I didn't feel any pain at any point as I was running. The further I ran, so the more time I spent on my feet, the more I felt where it was hurting, if that makes sense. So I could tell where I'd had pain before, but I just wasn't feeling it at that point time as I was running so I felt like I'm really really happy with how I've been doing my recovery with doing all of my walks and things when I had this pain in my le other leg last year it honestly took me so long to get over and when I would go out and test it I wouldn't necessarily have pain in my leg like before I would feel it in my leg and then the pain would come in that evening or the very next day or a bit later on so I am going to keep an eye out on my leg and to kind of check in uh, tonight and you know look into it tomorrow I did have you know a bit of a, a tough time because I haven't ran for two weeks so I did have to stop and get my breath back and stretch off my calves my calves they lose conditioning I swear like really really quickly so if I haven't ran for two or three whatever how long how many weeks I will feel it in my calves and everywhere else will be fine it's they'll keep their conditioning but my calves no <laughs> they struggle but I did keep going I pushed through and uh, yeah I managed to get a 5k distance done and I felt amazing my legs feel great now as well and I had a walk home just to kind of you know keep the walks up keep stretching off and yeah real real success I'm really really happy with how it went 
and I'm back home now. I'm going to do some stretching. I'm going to look after myself, make sure my recovery continues to be a success. No, I haven't been uploading in a couple of weeks. This is what I've been up to. This is my update. I've not been out running, so I haven't really been able to create the content that I've been wanting to. But this is my update. This is what I've been up to. Let me know in the comments below what you've been up to. Are you sticking to your New Year's resolutions? I'd be interested to know how many of you guys have stuck with it. And guys, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Hit the subscribe if this is the kind of thing you need to see. And I will see you guys soon for some more updates. Bye guys.